What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carbocane and it is Pokemon Day here yet again around the world and we are back with Surging Sparks. It's finally here. Pikachu's first set of an SIR. We've opened some of the pre-release packs and a few boxes of Super Electric Breaker? I think I got that right. Um, nothing too amazing in those outings now that we're at a full booster box. Um, we can obviously get into, I'm assuming, Pokemon's usual hit spread that they usually have. It's like five base EXs, two base Terras, three, two Alt Arts, and three ARs, and possibly an SIR. Um, depending or not whether it's easier or harder to hit an SIR compared to the other sets is obviously yet to be known to myself. So let's just start ripping into this. Um, now if I'm trying to think back. So we did Stellar Crown. Stellar Crown seemed decent. Right? Stellar Crown was decent. Stellar Crown was very was very easy to complete. Um, with a bit of help with Freds and everything like that. But it was a lot more or less brutal than Twilight Masquerade was. <sighs> that being said, Twilight Masquerade obviously, I think the hit rates were went really down. And then, you know, as we got to that point, um, as we got to that point, Stellar Crown came back around and it went back up. So we can't really complain too much on that. Nothing in the first packet. And I'm thinking because we've like got the booster box here, we probably should just like rip straight in until we get like to the last few packets and if we're still chasing like a few of the hits that we think that we're meant to be getting, right? So... Good Bagagus, Surfer, and Chinotic. Obviously putting all the hollows to the side because I'm going to be needing that to put into the book. Um, for the Master Setters out there, this is probably going to be a very... Um, you know what, just take the last three cards, put them to the front, and reveal. Uh, oh, there we go, we've got Executor. I think I got this one in the pre-release, so that's a double, and I did that wrong. There he is. <laughs> There he is. Um, for the pre-release, well, not the pre-release promos, but the promos um, for this set, I believe there's four. So the way it works is, if you're in America, GameStop and, J GameStop and Best Buy have one each. I think they've got... Brigantino and Fue Coco, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Um, and in and in Australia, we no, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I can't remember exactly, but there's four. There's Quaxley, Sprigatito and Fue Coco, and um, Terrapagos. Quaxley you can only get from the Pokemon Center when you buy Surging Sparks gear. So it's a little bit weird, and it doesn't have the Surging Sparks stamp on it either. It doesn't have the GameStop stamp, it doesn't have the EB Game stamp on it. It's got Horizons on it, because I believe they're trying to um, promote the anime a bit. So... Oh, I've done this wrong again. I'm going to do four to the front. There we go. Four to the front because of the energy. Do. Um, yeah, so just trying to think how it works. Like, I'm... For America, if, if you're in America, you can get all of them. I think one place gives one place gives two of them, and then the other one, and then you get the uh, oh nice Arch Ludon. That's our first full art. So I think GameStop might have like yeah, it might have two like of, of like Sprigatito and Fue Coco, and then Best Buy will have the Terrapagos. And then you get the Quaxley from Pokemon Center. So keep that in mind if you are hunting for them. I mean, they won't be nearly as much as, you know, our good friend Squirtle and Pikachu Van Gogh and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, if you are somebody that, like, you know, for example, picks up the uh, Pokemon Center uh, ETBs and all that kind of stuff, you can double up. Oh man, and it is very hot here in Australia right now. It's getting to that humid type weather, and I am not enjoying it. Well, that's a cute card. <laughs> that is cute. Token kiss. 
Chuck that there. Now, from what I've known, Jasmine's gaze during opponent's turn. All your Pokemon take third less damage. Yeah. Probably not worth running to decks. There is one particular A spec that I want out of this set, and I'm assuming is probably one of the better A specs to you, like to that you want to like keep on pulling. Um and it's the it's the morbid blender. Now it's actually pretty messed up when you really think about it. So it's 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 something blender. And the card text reads Search your deck for up to five Pokemon and then discard them. And it's a blender. And it's just like that's terrible. Um I'd be using it with my United Wings deck that I like playing. And it'll work really well, because then obviously you just go straight into the deck, get your A spec out, throw down five birds in the bin, that's already a hundred extra damage. Just straight off the bat. So oops, I completely hulk that packet open. I'm not too sure which other A specs lie inside here, but the blender is gonna be Oh, we got the foot. <laughs> it, it just looks so Oh, it's such a he's such a strange Pokemon. Like you know, this this actually, I reckon this is probably Stunfisk's best card. Like, it actually looks cool, whereas all the other ones she's kind of just looks weird and strange. He's okay now. He's alright. He's alright. In that's in that, it almost looks like a Yukimori card, almost with the way it's done, like. It almost feels just like a plastic figure in there. Like, it looks like a little figurine that's just, like, dropped in the mud. So, I think... Which illustrator did that? Yukimori did clay. Sachi... did clay as well, but she stopped early. Was it... Naruka? No. It started with N. It started with N. Na Naoka? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, Latias base. It's cool. Surprised that this one wasn't made into a Terra, to be honest. Surprised that this wasn't, wasn't a Terra. Nauka? I think Nauka? They, they didn't do too many. Like, it was like literally like a little, little plastic finger puppet looking thing, and it was like sort of like what Yukimori does. She just puts it like in a real setting. I think if I remember properly, the one that stands out to me, the one I remember the most, is like he did a little. What's the little dude before he turns into Pupitar. Um, Lavatar. Right. Ah, I'm remembering everything. Um, yeah, he's a little Lavatar plastic figurine. And, um, yeah. It, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like a better resin thingy thing that's just, like, dropped in the mud and just, you know, role-playing his best life. So, far... This side is relatively quiet. Four hits so far. Four hits so far. Five packets to go. Now, with this set, like the last set, if you did tune in for the last set when we opened up Stellar Crown, uh, we did start off with two cases. We started off with two cases, and that one case was pretty good. To the point where... I also had a friend, or have a friend, that helps me out to master set these things as well, because he's just too nice for his own good, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, because of his... Oh, nice. That's our second Terra for the box, so we shouldn't see another base Terra popping up at all, I don't believe. Uh, I think the Terra cards in this one is like, what, it's like Cyclizer, Executor... Tatsugiri and something, some something, I can't remember. But um, yeah, so we got to that point where we opened that one case, and that one case was so good that I could not, in my right mind or my right conscious, oh nice, we got the full art executor. So I think that's our second full art as well for the box. Which means we shouldn't really run into another full art, or maybe like one full art trainer, possibly. Possibly. The tarot cards look really good now. I like I like how they're doing these now. Like they look really nice. That's <laughs> like I said. Like I I when I first 
started opening Scarlet Vials, like, oh, they're onto something. They're onto something. Let them cook a little bit more. Let them. Let, they're, they're, they're cooking something here. They're getting there. Because they're just trying to conform all the best parts of all the sets and put them... Oh, there we go. <laughs> A-spec, straight away. Um, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, draw four cards. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not... I'm not too certain who would use that like if you would over the other a specs but that's not too bad so usually we get like what two a specs a box i believe so it's still a chance for a blender and i've completely forgotten what i was talking about just before um Sirano and Landorus. Okay, so on the first half of the box, that feels a little bit brutal. So the first half of the box, actually, no, not really, not brutal. Seven hits. And usually, we're like what we said, like, the average is around 13, mid-range is 14, and if you somehow absolutely highball it, you get like 15 in an SIR, and then if you're like really unlucky, you get 12 hits. Mmm. <laughs> mm. And yeah, no, nah, I can't remember what I was talking about before at all. I've just, I've, I've had old man syndrome right there. It'll probably come to me at some point, but we'll just go into another point now of, oh, right, the Stellar Crown thing. Yeah, I just could not, in my right mind, go ahead. It's funny how that came back straight away. I threw it away and it came back. Um, I could not, in my right mind, open that second case because, you know, I couldn't. So, thankfully, also... Um, where we got our product today as well from Mystical Merchants. They um, gladly took it back. <laughs> they gladly took it back and um, gave it to someone else who was in need, who was after it, that missed out. So thankfully, it did get passed along to somebody who would put it into proper use because it was either I keep it and just have it sit there collecting dust and you know value over time or it goes to someone who's actually going to open it and that's what I'd rather. I hate sealed collectors. Um... But yeah, that being said, with this one, I feel as though, like, I might... Ah, I forgot that ARs existed in this set, or just in general. Spew. That looks really cute. My sister's going to want one of those. That's a really cute card. Wow. Like I said, man, they're cooking. They're there. When you start opening Scarlet Violet, and all the naysayers, I was like, nah... I'd rather collect modern than vintage. Like, there's some some parts of vintage where I'm like, oh yeah, no, that's that's cool. Like, like, like when they had the E series stuff, so like Sky Ridge and Aquapolis, they were kind of cool. Like, my, one of my favorite Ditto cards comes from Sky Ridge, so I still don't have it yet though. But I would rather collect modern. And just as they've gone along, you've just seen them like pull out the stops more and more and more. And it's just like, I don't know, it just it just looks so much better. Like, I just. I just feel like Scarlet Violet Modern just looks so much better than almost anything that you could, you know, compare it to in the past. Arch Loot on base. Surely going to get 500 of him by the time this is all done. Um, but yeah, so considering that, like, I've got one case sitting here in front of me that we are going to be opening over the next couple of days, or like next couple, like, week or so, because we're going to have to stretch this one out, because as remember as well with the Stellar Miracle stuff, I was lacking videos because I suddenly said, yeah, we're not opening that second case. So, I have to find something to do in the meantime. I mean, there's going to be a whole bunch of other product that's kind of staggered. So, it's like, what, well, we still got the ETBs to go. We've got the Terpagos UPC that's being delayed. So, that's coming. There's a EB Games slash GameStop Greninja exclusive UPC, which I'm on the fence about getting because it's just incredibly expensive. I still don't know what's inside it, if I actually need it. So, it's a maybe maybe on that one um i mean we should be able to last out and the reason as to why i'm doing that is because you know surging sparks might be the uh the flavor of the day right now but the word that's on on everyone's lips is the uh prismatic evolutions right so i don't think you'll hear a pokemon video oh there we go there's our full art trainer so we've got three full arts so if there is an SIR in here, we're probably not going to get that third AR. If I'm, you know, remembering from all the previous sets and how they do their hit spread. So this is Clement's Quick Wit. If you watch the uh, Super Electric Breaker videos, we pulled the alt out of this guy, which is cool. 
So at least I got one alt heart out of the two boxes that I bought. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't think you're going to see another Pokemon video for quite a while. It's just not going to mention the Evolutions set in some way or form. And I figured if I do... I'd rather probably do like the, you know, the smart way of master setting. I mean, there's still a smarter way of doing it. The smartest way is to open two booster boxes and then buy the rest of the singles you need. <laughs> it's going to be cheaper overall completely, right? So I'm going to be opening up one case and then buying the rest of the singles. I'll save a whole bunch more money to throw at Prismatic Evolutions. So you can believe that by the time Prismatic Evolutions comes along, it's probably going to be the set that I bought the most stuff for. Like, I, th I thought I went... I don't think I went overboard with 151. I thought I bought what? Did I buy three cases or two cases? It's been a while now, so I can't remember, but yeah, Prismatic Evolutions is going to be um, going to be one of those ones where I pull a Tony. And speaking of Tony, Tony's probably going to pull a Tony doing that stuff. So, you know, just when I think I'm about to go like, hey, I'm, I'm you now, he'll just be like him, but better. You know what I mean? So... That's going to be a very fun time on the channel, and just in general, I believe. Um, the old... Oh, nice. There we go. Pikachu base. Terra. Oh, wow. We got three Terras in this box? Huh. It's It's gone and thrown me a curveball now. It almost feels like they've messed around with the hit spreads. So they've like, maybe randomized it? Possibly. Possibly. And also to the guy out there that suggested that I um, zoom out my camera... Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot until I get like a nicer camera set up where it's like, you know, a little bit back and it has like a nice thingy thing and I can't do it yet. So definitely do appreciate the advice and the suggestion. And I wanted to, I tried, couldn't do it. This is literally the furthest out it goes. I mean, the only way I'm able to like make it zoom out is if I put this all the way up here and then face it down, but then it'll be this stick in front of my face. Or maybe I have to use the arm and go down. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure something out at some point. I'll figure something out. Blitzel, Tornadus, and Chin Pao. Check that there. At some point during these videos, I'll also go through like some of the competitive cards in here, but I don't think there's too many, to be honest. Um, in terms of like trains and stuff like that, I do know that there is a card, Terra Crown or something. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Terra decks are going to be wanting to use those. Um, you know, your Charizards, your Dragapults, Terra Pegos. Terra Pegos. Alright, we're down to... This is the sixth last packet on that right-hand side. Left-hand side, sorry, the Tony side. Hopefully we end this box with an SIR. it will be really cool. Oh, I missed one. What is it? Espathra. I was totally expecting an A-spec card to pop out from behind there because it's like, well, <laughs> I've messed that up. Alright, fifth last packet. One, two, three, four. I really gotta get used to doing this. Because we are moving ever so closer. Oh, that's the uh, Yukimori, Yukimori Applin that's in the... Um, I think she had it in one of the um, starter decks at some point. Four more packets. Ooh, looking dicey for the first box into uh, Surging Fox. My luck's not there. It's not there. I mean, it'll probably be this one. This is the hit, right? This is the hit, yeah? Huh. Nope, not the hit. Rip! Uh, Duraludon Call Bell. You can use cards, you go second, and only during your first turn. Search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Hmm. <laughs> Could be good with uh, United Wings to pull out an Arvin, to pull out the A-Spec, to pull out the Blender. Very long chain, but deck thinning is winning. Alright, third last pack. Third last packet. And, well, the Slack King. We've got him already in the pre-release kits. <sighs> Two packs. Alright, let's do a little bit of math here. And I'm just going to put this one into like a clear sleeve because I know that we've got that one. Let's do a bit of math here before we open those last two packets here. So we got Full Art Trainer, Full Art Executor, and Full Art Archer Ludon. So that's three. And we got two ARs. Usually we get three ARs, which is, yeah. 
three ARs. We got Slack King, Archiludon, Latius for our base three EXs. And then we got a Pikachu Terra, Cyclizar Terra, and an Executor Terra, and an A spec. So usually per box you get two A specs, three ARs. But yeah, we're getting more Terra base EX Pokemon than any other set. And I'm just wondering if that's just the first box wonky magic. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So we're on the low end right now of hits for a booster box, providing that we don't hit anything else. Providing. Ah, we got the Skarmory. Nice. There we go. So there's our third AR. There's our third AR, which means there's a very big possibility that we're not going to get an SIR in this box. Because now we have 13 hits. 14 is the average. But 14 is the average. It could be. We, 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 it could. You know what? Let's just do this one the proper way. So the lucky last packet. We just we just hope. Trap Inch, Dragonal, Uxie, Charcadet, Iron Bundle, Izzy's Appeal, Azamarill, Togepi, and unfortunately no SIR in our first box of Surging Sparks. But not a terrible one in terms of actually adding to the set because you know master setting and all that kind of stuff so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i think we got the low end we, we got a low end box on that one so hopefully that was our dud box for the box because if i remember properly from a few sets ago and i think for stellar crown as well it was like on average four right Four is a good average to get of like big hits per per case, as opposed to that Twilight case that I opened. We don't talk about that. Oh, we only got one out of that one, I think. So we got Latius, Enriching Energy, Skarmory, Paloma Mexicator, Executor, sorry, Steel. Should probably take my big old thumb out of the way so you can see that. Stunfisk, Archiludon. And Arch Ludon, Slacking, I hope I don't get any more of this guy. Full Art Executor, looks really cool. Cyclizar and Clement's Quick Wit finished up with Pikachu. And hopefully we somehow hit the SIR Pikachu in here because that's going to be a doozy. So, like I mentioned, we are opening up a case. I might get a box or two more, but I'm not going to be going to a full case. I'm pretty much... Pretty much going to be keeping this relatively sensible because we still have other product coming up. But at the same time, I I would prefer saving the money and putting more into Prismatic Evolutions than master setting this ASAP. We got lucky with Stellar Crown. Hopefully, we get a little bit more lucky with this one as well. But I think this one is slightly bigger in the end part of the galleries for. SIRs and hits and that kind of stuff. Oh, I hope I have the same luck I had with uh, 151 with this, uh, with, with, with Prismatic Evolutions, I hope. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch me in a few more days for the next video.